I'm Wyatt and I'm Cecilia and you're watching the Morning Marshall. Marshall County High School Future Business Leaders of America competed at the State Leadership Conference in Louisville this week. 15 students placed in the top four of their event and will advance to the National Leadership Conference this summer in Orlando, Florida. Some events include website coding, development, insurance and risk management, introduction to business procedures and many more. Congratulations to everyone. The Marshall County High School Greenhouse is open. Go get hanging baskets, garden plants, and flowers eight to four through the week. Tell your families about these beautifully grown plants right here on campus by our agriculture students. Prices vary, but they're pretty reasonable in most cases, cheaper than anywhere else you'd go. Hey Ron, what's the weather looking like today? Is there going to be any severe weather? Today's going to be pretty warm. Now for the rest of today and tonight, you can expect mostly sunny weather, then a chance of some thunderstorms after 1 p.m. with highs in the mid 70s. Tonight will be clear with lows in the mid 50s. We do have a risk for some severe weather today, although coverage of the severe weather looks to be pretty isolated. Isolated tornadoes, damaging winds, and some hail are all on the table. There'll be a lot of moisture in the air for thunderstorm development. Strong, deep layer wind shear will help with the potential for tornadic storms and moderate amounts of instability will be in place for thunderstorm development. There's expected to be around 1,500 to 200,000 joules per kilogram over a majority of Kentucky. All these parameters will aid in severe thunderstorm development. If the storms start to form in more of a line, then damaging winds will be the main threat. But if there are any discrete storms in front of the cold front, then we could have a higher potential for all hazards. Good news is if the cold front is faster than forecast and storms move through in the morning, then we won't really have much to worry about. But if the front is slower and progresses through the afternoon, then we have to watch out. Regardless, storms will be riding along a cold front. Stay weather everywhere. Stay weather aware, everyone. I'm Ryan Auten, and this was your weather forecast. Hey, did you watch the eclipse this past weekend? Well, Addie and Lucky went around and found some of you who did. Let's take a look. Addie, what did you do for the eclipse? I was stuck in a blown out car. My tire blew out. Jackson, so you watched the uh, eclipse this eclipse season? Yes. How was it? Uh, it was okay. Where'd I was you, working. Where'd you, uh, where'd you watch it at? On the mower, in the plants. Did you have your glasses on? No, I did not. How do you ask feel? Pretty good. Do you have any pictures you'd like to show us? Uh. You did watch the eclipse? Yeah. How was it? It was alright. Where did you watch it? Uh, in Paducah. Uh, was it dark there? It was dark. Mm, did you have your glasses on? I did. Do you have any pictures? I do. <gasps> Can I see? Yes, of course. Whoa. So Beautiful. cool. Thank, Thank you. you. Hey, Russell, did you see the eclipse? Yeah, I did, Lucky. Oh, you did see the eclipse. I seen the eclipse. How was the eclipse? Oh, you know, black, dark, got in the way of the sun. Oh. <laughs> I'm here with um, Isaac Lanham. Wait, you might want to... Just stop. Um, did you watch the eclipse this um, eclipse? Yeah. Was it good? I guess. Did you have your glasses on? No. How do your eyes feel? Fine. Quit lying. Do you have any pictures? Yeah. I actually do. This eclipse season? I thought I was about to have a fashion show. Okay, what? Did you watch the eclipse this eclipse season? Yeah, I did. How was it? It was kind of boring, not gonna lie. Well, did you wear your glasses? Yeah. Oh, the whole time? I got me a little glimpse of the sun. 
Okay, and you still safe? No. <laughs> no. Well, did you take? Well, did you take any pictures? I didn't think I tried to, but they were terrible. Well, she tried to, and they were terrible. Or can we really see the dark side of the moon? Anyway, here's a good fact of the day. Pink Floyd's iconic album, The Dark Side of the Moon, reflects the feelings at the time about the warning hippie era, staying sane in the face of rapidly changing modernity, and the band members' personal emotions about losing Sid Barrett as their band leader. Hold on a second. Where in the world is Zandel? Did he miss the bus this morning? What joke do you have for us today, Zandel? I didn't miss the bus. But I'm over here with today's MLB joke. Why are some Truist Park umpires overweight? They always clean their plate. <laughs> I hope y'all have a great day. Now that Isaac was sports. This past Saturday, there was a track meet in Cape Central, Missouri, and there were four individual first place finishes. For the boys, uh, came from Xander Maxwell in the 400 meters, Kobe Yates in the 800 meters, and two for Deegan Crowley in discus and shot put. And now with a continuation of any bringing athletes around the school, we have On the Hill with Deegan Crowley. This is On the Hill with? Deegan Crowley. Now Deegan, how's your uh, throwing season been going? It's been going pretty good. Yeah, got some PRs and stuff, so. That's good. Uh, what are some kind of goals and expectations you have for the rest of the season? Just uh, keep going up. Don't like plateau or anything. Just and try to break the school records. To be honest, that's good. And when's the next time you throw? Uh, this Friday, here. All right, you heard that. Be here this Friday. Watch the Deegan Throwley. As many of you know, Coach Calipari is the new head coach at the University of Arkansas, which means there is a coaching vacancy at the University of Kentucky. That vacancy was filled last Saturday by Mark Pope. He was the previous coach at BYU and before that was a team captain on the 1996 Kentucky Wildcats that won a national championship. The Marshall County Esports team is hosting a tournament next Friday. If you aren't that competitive, don't worry. Along with the tournament, there will be gaming trivia and code games that you can play. All the action takes place in the new esports gaming area of the Tech Center. Scan the QR code on the screen to join in on the fun. The Marshall County Dance Team wants you to join them this 2024 to 2025 school year. Tryouts are May 8th and May 9th or 330 to 5 o'clock at the Marshall County High School Main Gym. If you have any questions, email Marcy Satin at marcy.satin at marshall.kyschools.us. Hey Chaz, I'm starving. What's for lunch? Howdy y'all. My name is Chaz and today for lunch is cheese bread or pepperoni pizza and for breakfast is sausage, biscuit, and gravy. And for lunch is cheese, quesadilla, and or cheesy chicken, and rice. Peace out, y'all. This week's album is A Dream About Love by Citrus Survive. In their last few years before their independent hiatus, they released two albums, A Dream About Love and A Dream About Death, reflecting the two sides of life. If you have any requests, fill out the form by scanning the QR code on the screen. Last week's book of the week, named Cinder, is a Cinderella story with a twist. Our Cinderella is a cyborg, and soon she'll be a crucial part in the future's fate for the kingdom. Have you ever wondered how your classes looked before the addition of modern technology and computers? Well, for this segment of Way Back Wednesday, we dug through the records to uncover how classes operated when the school first opened in 1974. As you may notice, the way we learned in 1974 was much different than today, and many of the modern comedies of the modern era, such as the computers, weren't available to the students. Thankfully, our school has evolved over the years and has all the technology of the modern world now. Have you wondered what the favorite TikTok trends are? Well, we went around and got an answer for you. Who am I here with? Ava Sutherland. Uh, Ava Gessencore. Russell Lowen. Cora Wybark. Lucky. Addie and Lucky. Olivia Larkin. 
Ashley Kurtner. What's your favorite TikTok dance? The Renegade. I have no idea. Probably the Savage one that was back in like 2019, 2020. I like the Renegade, I reckon. Pretty good one. Um, the only one I remember is Renegade because that was popular for like two to three years. Fair. What's yours? Personally, the Wolf. I don't know what it's called, but it goes like this. Oh, it's good. Perfect. Um, the Renegade. I love it. Okay. Oh, she's gonna do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know how you say it, but it's this. <laughs> I love it. Can you show us? Perfect. Thank you. you asked me, I didn't do it. You asked for TikTok. That's what we're going to get. Peace out, Marshalls. Have a great day and continue to work hard and smile.